today I want to show you something of an improvement of the solid state UF8. I think it's a gorgeous control surface, but there are a few drawbacks to my opinion. Um, it's too bad they based it on the Mackie uh, UE or the Mackie control service protocol. It's ancient, it's very old and limited. And to my surprise, they even skipped the whole transport section, which is uh, standard on Mackie console. But it's not on the UF8, and to my surprise, it's also not on the UC1, the new uh, channel strip controller of solid state logic. Maybe they will come with a transport section. Um, okay, so to keep it uh, a little bit short. Uh, I have made two improvements. Um, the first one is the transport section. I think it's necessary to have some kinds of means to easily start and stop because when you're working on your door, you're starting and stopping and recording all, all the time. Uh, you can do it with your keyboard, but um, I think it's more uh, handy to have it on your control source as well. So I used these arrow buttons here because they're normal function is to select a channel or a track i made that much easier with the second uh, improvement so i could lose that functionality when you press the center button then you can zoom in and out of your um, uh, yeah your channels and your uh, working area like this but when it's off these buttons are your transport buttons um, i made it so that this one is play and this one is stop for me that's uh, intuitive but it can be changed it's very easy if you know where to find it in the script uh, this one is the record button so i can uh, hit record stop it again and this one i use also uh, most of the time cycle on and off i can do it like this uh, but all your transport Functions can be assigned to these buttons or any other button. Uh, I like to use these one because they are um, well uh, easy to reach uh, with a combination of the channel uh, button. Okay, um, I love control services. I have had uh, a lot of them from Mackie itself. I used it for a while. I have the fader port, the one and the 16 from uh, Personas because I work uh, mostly with uh, Studio One. Uh, but I love this one and UC One as well. Uh, it's coming next week, I guess. And I really um, enjoy them. But the biggest downside of all of them is that the bank selection doesn't follow the track selection. So when I select track um, well you can see the console it doesn't react well you can see the selection it moves along but when I go out of the eight tracks in my bank it's not visible and I have to move along with the channel button this one and it's it's a double action I think it's it, it annoys me all the time I also have the console one from soft two with the fader as well and it follows along nicely so i can quickly select my tracks and it follows this one it, it doesn't and i really don't like it and what even makes it worse worse is the the channel names are uh, shortened to eight characters i guess S and you don't have the nice colors which you have in studio one itself which make navigating uh, much easier. So what did I do? I figured out how to make it so that when you move the channel button, the console in Studio One moves along. So that way it's very easy and very fast to select the track you are want to focus on, for instance, the kick. And I know here, it is. this is the select one and it says kick and I can change the volume um, it should be that when I have the UC1 next to it that it follows along uh, when there's a, 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 a plugin on this channel so I will place a plugin on every channel 
and then it should work that you can navigate just with this single button which is also very nice if you have for instance your sense active for the channel then when you select channels like this it will still uh, reflect the right channel so for instance if i want the octa track to have uh, change the sense on the octa track like this then you can see i can change it i i don't have to i cannot see where i'm at here but that's fine i can see it on the screen and when i go to uh, the kick again i can also do the sense the same goes for plugins if you have the plugins you can uh, i don't have an uh, an assigned plugin but when you have assigned plugins then your plugin connections are uh, over here and when you change the channel it moves along so yeah i guess for me this is way way better because in the um, original state it was a no-go for me i was planning to uh, yeah, to send it back and uh, stick with the console one because i really like that combo but uh well look at it this one looks way nicer and it's ssl of course so uh, i really wanted to keep this one and i'm very happy that i figured out how to uh, make it work at least for me and i guess in combination with the uc1 this will be a, a killer combo um, for working really really fast i guess with the uh in the future they can make it uh, better by using the 360 software i guess because the plugins communicate also i don't have one active now so this is uh, empty but with the uc1 i guess they can implement it that uh, it will work the same way as i showed you here but i'm yeah it, it, it depends because th this function is handled by the Mackie control script and yeah they have to combine it with the uc1 um, logic so i'm not sure if, if they will but yeah you can fix it with the uh, Mackie xml uh, script uh, i will uh, post a second video when i have the uc1 and then i will optimize the script and uh, make it available uh, for everyone uh, interested not sure how i'm going to share it but um, there will be a link in the second video how how you can achieve the same functionality because yeah for me this is a must-have and it's the best way to navigate through your project okay thank you for watching until next time bye